The fourth component of an SMS is safety promotion. Earlier, when we defined the components, the fourth component, safety promotion, didn't have its own ellipse because it infuses the other three components. It may be considered like the oil in an engine. Safety promotion permeates the entire SMS. It's woven throughout the organization, the platform and foundation for a successful SMS. Management must promote a positive safety culture as a core value and embed a sound safety culture into the operational sphere of an organization. A good definition of safety promotion includes training and knowledge sharing activities in support of the implementation and operation of an SMS in an organization. Saying safety promotion is the equivalent of saying safety activities. To be credible, safety activities must be visibly supported at all levels of management from the top down and must be effective and sustainable. The accountable executive demonstrates management commitment by being the final authority over the operations the company is authorized to conduct, controlling the financial and personnel resources required by those operations, ensuring the proper implementation and performance of an SMS in all areas of the company, communicating the service provider's safety policy to all company personnel, regularly reviewing the safety policy to ensure it remains relevant, designating sufficient management personnel who will implement and maintain the company's SMS and ensuring those managers are properly trained to perform their duties. Employees must embrace the concept of safety. They must feel they are an essential part that their absence would create a hole in the organization's mission. Most importantly, employees must believe and practice that when no one is looking, they still perform their job in a safe and correct manner for the safety of themselves and the safety of the organization. If you think about these points, you will discover that most of them can be managed by the organization once they are identified as possible hazards in the workplace conditions. Safety culture also permeates an organization runs across all SMS components and must be considered in the discussion of any SMS. Safety culture relies to a large degree on safety training and communication. SMS training should be developed in the context of the employee's SMS roles and responsibilities. That is, all employees need to know the practical application of SMS components to include how and why the company uses them explaining why safety actions are taken, which develops an awareness of hazards, and fosters the open discussion and reporting of safety concerns. Finally, accomplishment of initial and recurrent training. A further consideration when designing an SMS training program focuses on the context of the employee's SMS roles and responsibilities. Generally, this means that the safety department employee will probably need more in the way of a detailed SMS training, such as safety risk analysis, system evaluation, and management system assessment, as well as data mining, auditing, inspections, etc. Line managers may need to know the potential consequence of failure, how bad will our mistakes hurt us, and system failure modes, what do hazardous conditions look like. Rank and file employees may not need such detailed training. They may only need an overview of SMS fundamentals for their operational department. That is, the hazardous aspects and safety critical tasks of their job. Knowledge that it's their responsibility to identify and report safety concerns. Knowledge of how the organization's non-punitive employee reporting system works. And knowledge about how to provide feedback. It is the responsibility of the organization's management to make the determination of how much training is enough. What is competency? AC 120-92 has a three-sentence definition of competency that boils down to the skills, knowledge, and abilities that an individual needs to perform work successfully. What does this mean to an aviation service provider? It means that the organization should identify the skills, knowledge, and abilities, the competencies needed for the employee group. 
In order to gain critical SMS skills within your workforce, you may either train existing employees or hire employees with pre-existing skills. The criteria, selection, and expected standards of each position and employee are left up to the organization. In the training arena, the SMS competencies should be addressed just like your other training competencies to ensure that SMS skill competency is included in initial, recurrent, and continuous training programs. We've talked about what SMS subjects to train and about how much training and when. Remember that these are all to be determined by the organization. Now, how do you know if your SMS competencies and training are on target? Audits are used to ensure that the levels of competency and training to operate equipment and facilities safely are adequate and that the required levels of safety performance are being maintained. Training for safety involves more than just be safe out there and more than just the training administered as part of the employee's technical function, for example, crew member training or mechanic training. The instructional design ISD model, sometimes called the ADDIE model, is a standard training development tool. SMS training should be developed using the SRM process based on system task description and analysis. This should be derived from identifying the process identifying the activities, identifying the workplace conditions that exist, and the safety critical job tasks. The analyze segment of the ISD process then uses the safety critical job tasks, competencies, and the target audience to determine the training that will be necessary. The design segment will consider the above training tasks, qualification standards, courseware, etc. The develop segment should consider the training medium, lessons, exercises, activities, tests, evaluations, and so forth. The implement segment brings us to the safety assurance component of the SMS. It should monitor the effectiveness of the training program through things like training delivery, performance assessments, records, testing, and qualification demonstrations. The evaluate segment of the ISD process is also a safety assurance component of the SMS. It should assess the effectiveness of the training program through things like student evaluations and critiques, instructor critiques, on-the-job training, and performance observations of trained personnel, etc. Please consider the aspects of management's commitment to the company's SMS. The old adage about management must lead by example is as appropriate today as it ever was. You cannot buy or dictate a positive safety culture. It must be earned and two-way communication is paramount. Management must lead the way and employees must continuously see, hear, and feel the presence of management in the safety management effort. It's important to create a sense of ownership so that all employees make a personal investment in the organization because they know that management has made a personal investment. Management's attitude and actions speak louder than words.